Well, has Chris Cuomo fallen from grace? The one-time CNN host. Did he ever host, have any grace? I'm, I'm trying okay, I'm to sorry, be positive. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay, sorry. Uh, the one-time CNN host now struggling at his new home at News Nation. Now, according to the New York Post, uh, Cuomo asked his bosses to move to a different time slot, blaming his low ratings on show placement. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it, it's, it's a go-to, right? It was also reported that Cuomo complained that even Newsmax was beating him in the ratings. Yeah, notice yes. that, right? Yeah, critics have pointed out that Cuomo may have lost support among viewers after his role came to light in advising his brother, Governor Andrew Cuomo, through his COVID-19 controversies oh. and sexual harassment allegations. Also like to point out, Chris Cuomo is on at 8 o'clock. Just when Eric Bowling and the balance is on Newsmax. That's why Eric's doing a better show. It's a quality show. Exactly. Cuomo's, I, I don't know. If you have some tea, some coffee to keep you awake, maybe. Uh, joining us now uh, to discuss, let's bring in executive editor of Newsbusters at the Media Research Center, Tim Graham. Tim, your assessment of all this. Well, News Nation made a bet, and that was, well, we've sold ourselves as, as more objective than everybody else. We're going to be truly fair and balanced and fact-based. And then they decided, oh, let's go get Chris Cuomo, who's none of those things. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> obviously their strategy was, well, OK, he's not fair or balanced, but he was a star at CNN. So clearly he'll help us in the ratings. Yeah, that didn't work. And, 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 and from what I've read, it's costing him a million bucks a year. <laughs> well, I, look, <laughs> I think he really should be damaged for the way that uh, CNN and the Cuomo brothers not only had this bizarro Q-tip type exchanges on the air, but the CNN, for better or worse, or for knowledge or not having knowledge, uh, Chris was advising his brother basically to say, you know, uh, we're going to let's be angry with all of your accusers. Let's search of all of their histories. Um, that didn't look great once it was exposed. Right. Uh, all right. I do want to shift gears to Twitter. Hot topic in a new court filing. Uh, Elon Musk makes it official that he will be the CEO of Twitter. He got rid of the whole board. Uh, should he be putting himself in charge? I mean, it's a private company at this point. Yes, although he said now he's going to organize some sort of fair and balanced content moderation council, especially, you know, when they're going to consider canceling someone controversial or allowing somebody controversial back on. I don't think Twitter is going to change a whole lot, but boy, if you're watching CNN or MSNBC right now, they are just like panicking 24 seven. And there's just nothing funnier than channels like CNN and MSNBC saying, oh, social media is too polarizing and they weaponize hate and all this sort of stuff. It's like, well, have you watched your own shows? Yeah. Um, by the way, in the mornings now, they got Don Lemon at CNN. Um, your assessment of, of that change? Well, if Chris Licht is, again, is going to come in and say, I'm going to change it now. I'm going to make it less opinionated. I'm going to make it more fact-based. Oh, and let's move Don Lemon to mornings. Yeah, um, the opinion guy. Yes, who already is stating on the new morning program, he had Brian Gummel on to back him up. Yeah, I don't feel like being fair and balanced. How about you, Brian? No, me neither. Oh, that's just what CNN needs is somebody who's like um, a less bright Bryant Gumble. <laughs> well, I, my, uh, yeah, I'm gonna let that go. Do you, I mean? Do you think? I think you know. I think of, of Don Don Lemon, and I think of him as you know he's he's the prime time guy, and then now he's doing these early mornings along with Poppy Harlow and. Um, Caitlin uh, Collins. Uh, thank you. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I don't know. How do you, I mean, how do you think that's going to go? Not even just continue, uh, uh, calling Don Lemon a, you know, more of the opinion guy, but it just seems like, to me, it seems like an odd mix. Well, I suppose, yes, having the try host. I mean, look, CNN's been trying this in the morning. You know, they have New Day, and before that, they had uh, Soledad O'Brien. Um, they've been trying to have a CNN show. Uh, morning show that clicked, and it's just never really clicked. And so they brought in Chris Lick, who at CBS sort of got the morning show to go, um, but it was, you know, a more distinguished third place. Um, so, and but obviously he ran Morning Joe, and they consider that a distinguished second place show. Uh, 
uh, you know, I, I don't know. I would say I don't think it's going to work. It would be nice if they continue with doing more reports with reporters in the field. I think that's mm -hmm. a step in the right yeah. direction. Yeah. Okay. Tim Graham, thank you so much. Sure. No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me, me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.